Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with the next episode of What is the Age of Sigmar? Badam. We're going to be talking about the forces of order. And we're going to start it right now. As Sigmar hurls his warriors into the battle across the mortal realms, a new age of war has begun. Everywhere. From the Brimstone Peninsula to the Vale of Shadows, the Stormcast Eternals battle against the Legions of Chaos. But they do not fight alone. Deep in the Brimstone Peninsula, beneath the glare of a baleful sun, the hammers of Sigmar assail the skull-clad stronghold of Korgos Kull. Numbering in their thousands, the thunderous assault of the Stormcraft Eternals cannot be stopped by the blood-crazed worshippers of corn. Long has the God King Sigmar planned his vengeance upon the Chaos Gods, mustering his strength and building his armies from the sanctuary of Azerheim. In ages past, Sigmar was ever the first into the fray, wielding the divine fury of his magical hammer, Gal Maraz, against the mightiest of monsters and deadliest of the Chaos God's servants. But the Age of Myth has come to an end, swept aside by the Age of Chaos, as the dark gods saw the wonders that Sigmar had discovered and claimed them for their own. For years uncounted, chaos has reigned in the mortal realms. Now, vast storm hosts of warriors, mighty heroes changed beyond measure and granted the power of demigods, stand ready to battle in his name. These are his soldiers in the war of reconquest that will see the mortal realms freed from the tyrannical clutches of the chaos gods. How is that? That is your introduction into the forces of order. There will be four forces. Order, chaos, death, and destruction. Odd choices. I would have predicted that it would have been order, chaos, lightness, and dark. That way you could make chaos light and order dark and dark chaos and whatever. And it, you, you get my point. I don't know how they're going to mix in death and destruction. But... The Stormcast Eternals are the product of Sigmar's genius and relentless toil. Heroic warriors who have been plucked from the mortal realms and imbued with divine power to become his greatest champions. The reforging process that transforms them into demigods is both a brutal and, brutal and harrowing one. And the scars of their remaking run far deeper than the marks upon their flesh. And yet, when their transformation is complete, they are stronger, hardier, and more courageous than any mortal could ever hope to be. For the battles that Sigmar plans, the Stormcast Eternals must be garbed in the greatest armor and armed with the finest weapons the forges of Sigmaron can produce. Weapons and armor wrought from the magical iron mined from the world that was, that can withstand the baleful touch of chaos. The Stormcast Eternals are then organized into Storm Hosts, vast, autonomous armies 
with the strength and courage to wage war in the mortal realms, without hope of return, save for death. Within each storm host are many warrior chambers, fearless strike forces that Sigmar is able to hurl down from the celestial realm on bolts of azure lightning. The realms they scour are home to the scattered remnants of the great civilizations built by free peoples in the Age of Myth. In those ancient days, many races, men, Dwarden, Elves, and even the undead among them, created wonders untold. Through the Age of Chaos, though the Age of Chaos was, has reduced their fine works to rubble and many of their peoples to slavery, the fire of rebellion still burns strong in the hearts of many. In the Olgalands, the shadow of Maloran's ire waxes along and then and in Kamnan, Chamnan, the Duarden, descendants of those once called dwarves, crave justice. The embers of vengeance have been stoked. Next time we're going to talk about the Great Alliance. But that gives you a good, good, good overview. Actually, I was thinking about some things right at the end there, and I just wanted to stop and voice them. But I, I, I think you can see here very clearly, as I even read this, uh, how they're going to combine 40K into what was Fantasy Battle and is now the Age of Sigmar. I mean, just, just listen to what they were saying. Ashtarte, basically, are going to be Stormcast Eternals. It's the other way around. The storm... These people are sent to the mortal realms. And now, I mean, look at what they've said there. I'm sorry, there's just so much to say. Like when they say, only in death does duty end. How common of that is a phrase in, in, in 40K? And now they just said it. Well, that's because Sigmar sends his special strike force warrior chambers down. And the only way they get back to Azerheim is when they die, which they will then be sent someplace else. And this transformation process to create a Stormcast Eternal, that could be anybody, anybody, anywhere. People in the 40K realms, people in whatever realm you can possibly imagine. If you prove yourself to hate chaos strong enough, Sigmar can choose you, male, female, or your dog, and turn it into a Stormcast Eternal. That's why they're saying that that process is rather brutal and, um, <laughs> harrowing. Wouldn't it be, I guess? Uh, wow. I mean, I'm sure they're going to have lots of fluff on, on that process. That's the new Space Marine creation process. How to become a Stormcast Eternal. How do you take, I don't know, uh, a complete alien species from another time and, and, and turn it into whatever a Stormcast Eternal is. It's going to be fascinating stuff. The in, do you know what this is reminding me of? This is also reminding me? GURPS. I don't know how many of you know that. It's the generic universal role-playing system, yay, by Steve Jackson Games, is basically doing the same thing as Age of Sigmar, only they've been doing it for the last 25 years. You can mix anything you want together. In fact, I actually remember playing games. I remember one game where I had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Transformers, uh, Space Marines, and Fantasy Battle characters all on the table at the same time using GURPS. It's a really cool system, and it's pretty much free. Maybe you should check it out. But until next time, we're going to be talking about dun, 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 the Great Alliance. What is it? Find out next time. Bye. <laughs>